And I do not mean that disrespectfully of Mohammed. He could have prayed in the name of Abraham or Moses, and it would have done no better. He could have prayed in the name of Paul or Peter, and it would have done no better. So standing there alone, he says, I think I'll try it. My Christian friend has said it. I don't believe it, but I'm going to try it. He laid hands on him. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out of him. He said, Brother Swaggart, before my eyes, he was delivered by the power of Almighty God. I know that you do not deny the miracles of Jesus. But I remind you as I close this, a dead man cannot produce miracles. I want to say it again. A dead man cannot produce miracles. Jesus Christ is alive. got two minutes. <laughs> he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. One day very soon, you see, He's promised to come back. He's coming because he said he would come. Every single prophecy in this book that is supposed to be fulfilled has been fulfilled. The others that have not yet been fulfilled will be fulfilled. There is a hunger in the heart of every person for God. Only Jesus Christ can fill that hunger because God is love. He loves you. This book says he is. He loves you in spite of the sin and the iniquity. He loves you, and he wants to make himself real to you. He's not distant, far away, unapproachable. But through Jesus Christ, you can approach him and love him and worship him, and he will love you. Because his book says that he does. Thank you. Let us acknowledge both these fine gentlemen. Let us acknowledge both of them.